it's not an obsession i don't like to say that i'm obsessed with things the only thing that i want to say that i'm obsessed with is with jesus right i am such a lover of lip balms you guys i have so many lying around i saw this video that one, someone did of their lip balm collection and i was like who has a lip balm collection <laughs> but then i went around to like my bags and i went to my nightstand and then i was just seeing like okay let's see if i have a lip balm collection to even share and i do you guys i have so many lip balms that i have in different places around my house um, and i thought it would just be fun to share with you what they are and why i like the difference of them you know some of them i keep uh, in my nightstand and they're like my ride or die for nighttime routine some of them i keep in my purse some of them i keep in my car some of them i keep by where i wash the dishes you know it's you know it's a whole thing lip care is for everybody because we all have lips <laughs> and no matter if you wear makeup or not i think a lip balm is always going to be a good idea to have around Thank you so much for watching. If you're a returning lovey, thank you so much and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Libier. I make videos most every week on faith, lifestyle, and beauty. And it is my joy and my hope that I would encourage your everyday life, that I would encourage you to leave, um, to leave a legacy of a life well lived. That's my hope for you, friend. So consider subscribing. I'm super happy and excited and ready to go, you guys. It was Cinco de Mayo yesterday. We made chicken enchiladas. I have a love for making Mexican food because I'm Mexican. I'm from Mexico. I didn't come to the U.S. until I was nine or eight. I'm sorry, I always forget. I was eight when I came here. And um, I have been used to eating very spicy food for a very long time. So I'm sort of like... Uh, I don't know like I'm I'm coaching my children on how to eat spicy because most of the time they're like oh that's too hot <laughs> so little by little we've been putting peppers into like the guacamole and yesterday yeah we made guacamole my husband made guacamole he makes really 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 good guacamole and I don't know what he does I don't know what his secret is but people legit talk about his guacamole so we had that guacamole I want to say like the real deal guacamole and we had the chicken enchiladas and that was really good i haven't made them in a really long time they're my husband's favorite he says that they're better than any restaurants i'm not sure you guys but he is my husband so maybe he's giving me that love factor <laughs> um what else my dad is in the hospital that's a part of the update for today's vlog my dad is still in the hospital he's battling stage four brain cancer and it's been quite the roller coaster of emotions you guys it's just been hardship after hardship with my dad being sick and then being quarantined and so it's been a lot but god has kept me um so centered and just he has given me the opportunity to dwell in his peace and to not allow any outside circumstance to dictate my joy or my hope um, some days I'm filled with excitement and others I'm filled with grief and I'm just learning to sort of ride the boat as it comes and just every single day say God I surrender everything that I am I surrender all the thoughts of what this season would look like for me um, I just you know we would have been in New York this week we had a trip um, scheduled and it didn't happen so there's a lot of like mourning and a lot of loss but within that there's also a lot of new life there's also a lot of new hope and I pray that this season for you as well even though you've lost something that you know um, that God is restoring something in you that only can be restored through peace and calm um, and yeah that's my hope for myself as well is that I would hear what the whispers of God in this season and that we would know that even though we're going through so much pain and suffering that God is still with us and he hasn't left us okay oh I want to show you what I'm wearing today because I did my makeup and it feels so nice and springy I used two fun colors on my eyes um, I did uh, two liners the one on top here is a gel liner from Marc Jacobs and this was gifted to me a little while ago this one is called Deja Blue and this one's called what is it called overnight 
overnight. And on my lips today, I'm wearing a Juicy Shaker from Lancome called Freedom of Peach. It's such a beautiful and delightful formula. I need to reapply. It feels so nice and springy and summery. I'm not going to share these in any order of preference. I'm just going to start sharing. Let's start things off with Mario Badescu. I think this is my oldest lip balm that I've had and I really like it because it's just a very minimalist lip balm. It comes in a really nice little tube. You open it up and it has this little spout that dispenses the product nicely and I like it because it's a no fuss, no muss type of thing. So if you don't like to dip your finger into things, it's not scented at all. Um, it just has just a really nice, beautiful, clear sheen and it's almost most like I would dare say not in a bad way but waxy it feels very like smooth and like silky wax I keep that one mostly in my bags because I like that one to be something that I travel with well we're not traveling right now but when we usually you know are able to leave the house I like to keep that one in my bags because then it doesn't um take a whole lot of effort for me to apply it on the lips. The next one that I wanna share is this Smith's Rosebud Salve. I got this one because I used to watch a YouTube girl who did makeup and she did makeup so pretty. And she showed this guy as a way to put a little bit of shimmer and shine to your cheeks. So she would take the product and just put it and dab it ever so slightly on the high points points the high points of the cheekbones and it just looks so pretty so i ordered it off of the sephora website what i love about it are a few things let me tell you what i love the rose scent i'm a sucker for scents that have rose in them and this is just such a beautiful light uh very rosy florally scent but it's not overpowering and it's not like, you know, it doesn't feel icky when you have it on the lips. Um, I do love the fact that you can just swipe it on and kind of be good to go. But it is a little hard to open up the, the little receptacle. But that is one other thing that I love about it is the way that it looks. It just looks so pretty and like French. Um, so I like to keep this one at my desk vanity because this one like I said, is also not just a lip balm, but it's something that I can pop on in the spring and summer months to bring dewiness to the cheeks. So this rose salve is a really good idea if you want to have it for your vanity, if you want to use it on your lips and on your cheekbones, and you like the scent of rose. It has a slight, very slight uh, rose colored tint. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's hard to open. It's very <laughs> Especially when your hands are a slippery mess. Kind of have to wiggle it. There we go. It does have a little bit of a pinky sheen to it, but not very much. I am in love with Laneige products. They are so... This is the mask that I put on every night before I go to bed, you guys. I love Laneige. I've... <laughs> I am I'm so in love with them that I've worked with them before and they've sent me products so I have quite a few of their lip masks and my whole family is on to them this one is the original one that I started falling in love with this one's the first one that I ever tried and this is the sleeping care lip sleeping mask you open it up like this there's so much product when I saw the price of it it's like 20 something bucks and I was like oh my gosh for a lip balm how can you pay that much but it lasts forever and you need like very little like very little you dab onto the product like that and then you put it on the lips it is oh see it just even it's heavenly there's something about it that i never have chapped lips anymore because i put this on every single night before bed my husband always kisses me after i put my laneige on and he and he is hydrated too so there's a two for one. This is just the regular traditional Laneige mask. This one comes in the grapefruit scent and for right now, spring and summer is such a great, great scent. It's so refreshing and is very, it reminds me of a little grapefruit drink in the summertime. I really love this. I'm already, look, <laughs> this tub is really, um, it's been loved. So I keep this one in my bedside and I keep this one in my desk vanity because when I do like a scrub and exfoliation of my lips, I like to go on top of that with the Laneige uh, sleeping mask. 
I also have this one, which I'm so sad because it is almost all gone. It's literally like down to the... But this one is the vanilla. Ooh, vanille. Oh, it smells... It smells like vanilla. It is incredible. If you like vanilla and you like your lips hydrated, this is something that you are going to absolutely love. We went on a trip and I had to like run into a CVS because her lips were extremely chapped. Oh, we were going to Marine World. Yeah, we were going to a theme park and we were gonna be in the sun all day and her lips were already cracked and they were bleeding and I was like, oh my gosh. So I went in to CVS. We'd forgotten the Laneige at home and I was like, no! Then we went in and got some of this little uh, Vaseline Creme Brulee Lip Therapy for it says for deliciously kissable lips and I ended up really liking it she didn't like it very much but I really like the scent it smells like creme brulee it's very well priced it does remind me of maybe a cross between the Laneige and um, the Mario Badescu because it's a little less um, a little less thick and and it just it's a cross between a full-on lip mask and then a just quick lip balm almost done okay the other one that i have is this laneige lip glowy balm in the scent pear and i love this scent it smells so good very similar to the mario badescu the little tube is very convenient you unscrew the top it has this nice little applicator right here you squeeze the product out and it comes out very very easily and then you just put it on the lips. It's a, not sticky, but it's more like a, a during the day type of um, lip product, but it does hydrate the lips. Laneige is a K-beauty brand. Their biggest goal for their products is hydration to the skin. So your lips are very hydrated with these little juicy um, lippies and they have a bunch of different flavors, I believe, and they're available at Sephora. The last two, I have two more. I got this little lippy balm from Drunk Elephant and the reason why I absolutely love it is because of its size, okay? It's all gone because this is one of the ones that I bring with me when we're traveling because I like to just throw it in my bag. It's very quick. It has the little cap like this. You pull it up. It has a little dispenser that you screw up, but I have no more left. It says right here that you can apply it to the lips and maybe used around the eye area. And my husband actually told me about that. I was like, eye area? So I guess if you need a little bit of hydration around the eyes, you can put this on if you are at the beach or something like that. Um, but I really enjoy the formula. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a scent at all, but it just is a really beautiful formula. It goes on the lips really nicely. It's like a salve. It just feels like a really good, no fussy kind of salve. And it's so big around the lips that I could just go like this and do my two lips all at once. I love it. I am run out of it. So I probably need to get uh, some more of this because I like to have these in my bags. What else? Oh, my last one. This is, this is the one that I least love, but it was the first uh, love to cute lip balms it was the EOS little egg. What I love about it is the way that it looks. It's cute. I like that it has different colors that you can match with whatever you would like. I love this teal color. I like to have it on my vanity. And it just, um, this one also goes in my purses a lot too because again, it's very easy to just open up and <whistles> apply it onto the lips. This one, I tend to just go like this because it's so big, but it is very hydrating. When you first get one, you kind of have to work it into the lips so that it can actually hydrate. Um, and once the product has gotten started, then it runs really smoothly. It glides on very quickly. And I just think it's adorable. It looks like a little egg and you just pop it in your bag and your purse and you are good to go. I should probably juggle. <gasps> should I try to juggle three? <laughs> Let me know if you have a favorite lip balm that I did not have. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of lip products that I don't own. Let me know which one is your favorite. Which ones do you keep on your bedside? And which ones do you keep in your purse? I would love to hear from you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I pray for you. I'm praying hope. I'm praying uh, healing. I'm praying for prosperity. And I'm praying that you would know that you are good enough in Christ. That God loves you so much. And that there's nothing that you could ever do to lose his love. I'll see you next week, God willing.